Hey folks, this is PSG1 Shooter here. Today I'm going to do a video showing you how to make a water filter out of a piece of bamboo, some homemade charcoal, sand, and pea gravel. Because too many times I've seen the people on Naked and Afraid just, they act like they don't know how to get water in the wilderness. And when they do, I've seen them do ignorant things like try to heat up rocks and drop them in the bamboo and it's not getting the water hot enough to kill the bacteria. Congratulations, all you're doing is just creating an ideal breeding ground for bacteria, in fact. So I'm going to show you the proper way to do this. Stay tuned. Now although I know how to do this numerous ways, including using a 9 volt battery with steel wool, a magnifying glass with charcoal, a magnesium match, a bow and drill, a firearm with gunpowder, and uh, even a fire piston, good old cigarette lighter, and of course a piece of fat lighter is uh, always your best bet. It's good to know how to do it the other way, but really don't want to have to be doing that in a survival situation. So we'll get the fire going here. Next step, we need to make our water filter. Alright, this is going to consist of the body of our filter. We have our opening in the top. And there's a node here in the bottom. Of course, there's a node in the center. And I bet you're wondering, how am I going to punch that out? Because the knife doesn't fit. Good question. There's a couple of ways you can do it. First way is just to heat the end of a stick up like this and then put it down in there and burn a hole through it, which is exactly what I'm going to do here in just a second. Well, while the end of our stick is heating up, we'll go ahead and make up our charcoal here. You see this is just oak that's uh, been pulled out of a previous fire that I made. I'm just going to take my knife here. And rake off the burn part of this charcoal. Actually, probably do it better with a BFK. Just like that. This is what we want. We want the burned wood because this is charcoal here, folks. And um, in all actuality, if you do a little research, you'll find that activated carbon that's used for uh, fish tanks is made from uh, burned coconut husks. That's where they get the carbon from for that. So, and also uh, whiskey is aged in charred oak barrels. So, definitely want to use something like oak. I, you know, you don't want to use shit like water hemlock unless you want to die. Um, probably don't want to use cedar. I've got a hole through there now. 
Don't know how well you can see it, but there's the hole that I drilled in it right there. Right down through the center of it. So that's how you drill a hole through the node of bamboo. You just heat the stick, sharpen the point, just keep going at it till you get your hole in there. Okay, next step. Now that I've got my hole through there, I need to try to pick a small hole like this with my knife. Now, you could try to drop some cloth inside of it, but what I'm going to do, and this is just a spare missing sock from the wash, you know how that is, I'm just going to put a sock on here like this to catch it. Now, next step, we're going to put our sand in here. Now, what I would recommend for sand um, would be like beach sand, would be good. Um, any kind of white sugar sand like this, like you would find along the uh, bank of the river, would also be good. Um, it would be best if you can actually take the sand and put it in the fire and heat it up to burn off any bacteria that might be in it, any dirt particles, anything like that. But you want to shake that sand and get it down there in the bottom and yep, I feel some in the bottom of the sock, so it's passing all the way through. Next, we want to take some of this charcoal here. Tap it down like that. Lastly, I'm going to take some rocks, some gravel here, put it in the top, continue to tap it down. And we're about ready to filter some water. And just to prove how much confidence I have in this, I'm going to take this water right out of the fish pond here. I mean, granted, it does pass through a filtration system, and there is aeration to it, but still, I mean, you wouldn't want to drink this stuff without treating it, so we're going to use this. Okay, you naked and afraid idiots. Let me show you a little trick you probably didn't know. I don't know where the hell they vet these people from, for the show from. I mean, you know, I think they claim to be survivalists. They'd know this kind of stuff, but... uh you don't have to boil rocks and drop them in the bamboo. That's stupid. If you get it in the right spot and prop it up, it'll stay. And you boil your water in the bamboo. There we go. Now watch this. Let it sit here for a little bit and it'll start boiling. I mean, most people don't realize this either, that you can boil water in one of these damn things. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you right now. Let me clear me off a little spot here. And I will prove it to you. Let's see. Right there. Although, I don't recommend doing this because of uh, BPA in the plastic. But I'm just saying, if you were in a survival situation and you had to, you could boil water in a plastic bottle. Aluminum can is probably a better option, though. Hmm. Gee, what's that? It looks like it's a rolling bowl, doesn't it? So that just goes to show that, indeed, you can boil water in a section of bamboo. So, a little FYI for you knotheads on Naked and Afraid that uh, don't know what you're doing. Boiling hot rocks and dropping them in there, making yourselves get the squirts. This is how you do it. Okay? That's it. And with that, I'm going to pour it into a Pyrex bowl just so you can see the turbidity level of this water. It's important to boil your water first so that you kill any pathogens. Secondary is getting it clean. 
clear where you can drink it. But primary is killing pathogens. It might take a minute to, to leach through all that sand and everything. I have to boil a little more. And you might have to cycle it through a couple of times to actually get clear water. But this water is still safe to drink because it's been boiled and it's been run through charcoal, sand, and gravel. What you're seeing here is most likely tannins from uh, the scorched oak, the stick that I used to bore the hole out in it. So there's a first run through it. Like I said, first run might be a little bit murky looking, but even so, I have more confidence in that water right there than any of that shit they drink on Naked and Afraid. In fact, I have enough confidence in that. I'll drink some of it. It tastes like burned wood a little bit. Like I said, once you run it through one time, it'll leach that out and then it'll be gone. There you go. Boiling water in a plastic bottle. Of course, sometimes you get a hole in it, but uh, I mean, that just proves that it can be done right there. There you go. So I can hear you say now, oh well, that water looked pretty clean out of that pond. All right. In that case, we'll use some dirty water. There we go. I'll use that just to illustrate my point. So there's our dirty water right there. Now ideally, you'd want to try to let that stand if you could to get the sediment out of it. But anyhow, just so like I said, you can always find trash everywhere you go. So there's always some kind of container that can hold water or boil it. Even in the far corners of the world, there is still trash left by humans. So there are always cans and bottles. And as I showed you earlier, you can boil water in a plastic bottle. However, sometimes you will melt a hole through it. So the preferable way to do it is with aluminum cans if you can find them like this and if they have the tabs on them that's even better because you can just grab the tab with a stick to lift it out of there and boil means for two minutes no less otherwise you're not killing pathogens Now bear in mind, this is still that same nasty water out of that metal bucket. And it is piping hot. Well, there's a few carbon chips in there. 
I had a little spill over there. But I'll tell you what, you compare that to what came out of that hose when I put it in that bucket, that is like a thousand times cleaner. So there you go. There's your before, and there's your after. Yeah, I'd say there's a drastic difference. I damn sure wouldn't want to drink this one right here without treating it. This one here, I'd drink it, no problem. So there you have it folks, Survival 101. Bamboo, charcoal, sand, gravel, a little bit of fire. And that is how you can make water safe to drink it. Even the nastiest water. There you go, right here. Tastes just fine. That's how it's done right there, folks. Film at 11.